Hey there, Scipio here. This is going to be a really short video on how to stick program your Castle Creations Talon ESC. We're going to use this quick card for reference, but there's also a user guide that has more detailed information about all the various settings. Not all programming options are accessible via stick programming. For all of the options, you'll need the Castle Link USB adapter, which I don't have, so we're going to do stick programming. So the first thing we'll do is just start out with throttle stick calibration. That's important to do uh, for any ESC regardless of uh, what the application is. So in order to do that, we need to get our transmitter uh, powered on and then set up so that you have a full range of travel for your throttle channel. Uh, in my case with the FreeSky system, that's negative 100 to positive 100. And uh, just double check that, that you're getting the full range out of your throttle. Once you've got that established, put the throttle in the high position and leave it there whenever you power on the ESC. So you just heard the startup tone and then the number of cells that were identified with the LiPo battery. Next you're going to hear the indication that the high throttle position has been identified. Then move the throttle to the low position. That tone indicates it's calibrated the low position and now the ESC is armed. So now you can unplug the ESC and uh, now we'll go into the actual stick programming. So we'll enter into stick programming mode starting out the same way. Throttle goes to the high position when you apply power to the ESC. And then we're going to do a series of mid throttle, high throttle, mid throttle to enter the programming mode. So now we have the steady beep with the flash that tells us we're in programming mode for setting number one. And the way this works is you'll have a tone that indicates what setting you're on and then uh, after this first setting it'll be a tone to indicate which selection you've made. And you can see the settings and the options that are available to you on the programming card. To answer no, push down and uh, that will tell it you don't want to set it there. And uh, so now you can hear we're at uh, setting one, option two. I don't want option two, so I push down and it indicates it recognizes that. Now for option three, we do want to say yes to this because I'm gonna go with the factory setting of 3.2 volts. So I push up and now it's recognized that it has accepted my response. So now it's asking about setting two, option one. Two quick beeps, one beep. No, I don't want that. It's basically a question answer. It's asking the question I'm answering, yes or no, to whatever the question is. No, I don't want option two. No, I don't want option three. I don't want option four. Now for setting two, option five, I do want to say yes to that. So I'm gonna push it in the up position. Now we move to setting three. And it's three, uh, option one is the question. Yes or no is the answer that I can provide. Do I want hard cutoff? No. Now it goes to three, option two, soft cutoff. Yes, I do want that, so I'm going to say yes. Next, we're going to be asked about setting four, the PWM switching rate. I don't want the first option, but I will take the second option, which is the factory setting of 12 kilohertz. Sorry about that. Let me mute my timer, which seems to have gone off now. All right, so we're at setting four, option two. Four beeps, a pause, and then two beeps. And I'm going to say yes to that one. So now that's the last of the stick programming settings that we have available to us. So we get that final tone that tells us it's basically out of programming mode. 
we can go ahead and unplug our ESC and we've completed the stick programming. So through this question and answer session, we identified what we want our low voltage cutoff voltage to be, what type of braking, if any, what our low voltage cutoff type is, and then what our PWM switching rate should be. And that's basically it. So we've calibrated our throttle high and low positions, and we've made some very basic adjustments to the stick programming. I hope that was helpful for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.